I was taking a look in a Rachel Carson book about the sea, the deep blue sea, when I came on a phrase that for many, many days has haunted me. She says, in effect, that if the glaciers and the icebergs came unfroze and the level of the water in the ocean rose a hundred feet, that's all it would take to put New York City at the bottom of a lake. It's a stimulating notion being covered by the ocean. I wonder when it will begin and the tide comes in and in and in when the sea is all around us and the blue green waters rise there'll be no more broadway breeze blowing cinders in my eyes when the rolling breakers pound us not a single soul will care when the time rolls round once more for a higher subway fare. It may start while the Shriners are parading. As they march, they will suddenly be waiting. The band will play a drinking song. A fez will float. It won't take long. On the day there's nothing special In a sunken living room Will the average man live out his span A full-time deep-sea diver Or will smiling Esther Williams Be the one sole survivor when the sea, the mighty sea, is all around us. I can just hear the tourists now saying, New York is a nice place for a swim, but I wouldn't want to live there. When the sea is all around us and the streets are paved with salt, well, the daily news insist it was Harry Truman's fault. The New Yorker may advise us for a novel change of scene. Take a cross-town submarine to the tavern on the green. There'll be tuna and halibut and grunion Running loose in the land of Damon Runyon The fishermen will get their wish A chance to catch a filth fish When there's oysters in the cloisters And a shark in Central Park Will the city sleep away down deep the way my book supposes Or will the good Lord make the waters part At a word from Robert Moses When the sea, the mighty sea